We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. But everyone tried it the wrong way. Everyone has tried to take over the world with military. And everyone has discovered that military will not work. You cannot police and militarize enough to take over the world. So the Illuminati in 1776 developed a whole new concept of how to pull this project off. Instead of trying to force people into a new order or a totalitarian dictatorship on the military, which you cannot do because people are always going to rebel at that, the idea was developed uh, by uh, Adam Weissa to create enough violence and create enough chaos and, and enough bloodshed to frighten the world so that the entire world of mankind would one day come to the conclusion that there's too much bloodshed, too much crime, and there's just no possible way for the human race to exist unless we come together and pool our resources and all of us accept one government and one order and we will all live together peaceful, happy, and one family and nothing can be further from the truth that the chaos, well, that, on, on the the chaos back, that is being developed today right. is being developed purposely to cause us to be frightened into accepting uh, as a remedy a new order of the world which may be a total dictatorship of the earth. The most powerful means of mass manipulation which has been played this card for thousands of years and we're still falling for it. And it is this more than anything that's advanced this agenda, the centralization of global power. I call it problem reaction solution. It works like this. You want to bring something in here, um, centralization of power, more power for the police, more power for security agencies, whatever. And you know that if you do it openly and honestly, there's going to be a reaction against it. We're not having this. This is a global fascist state. Go away. We're not, we're not standing for this. This is outrageous. That's what you're going to get if you do it openly. So you don't. What you do is you create a problem here. Could be um, society breaking down so there is more crime. So people get in fear of being mugged and being burgled. Could be war. It could be a terrorist bomb, an economic collapse, whatever and you create a problem, but you get someone else to be blamed for it. You get a Lee Harvey Oswald, you get um, these uh, Patsies, as they call them in America, who are blamed for events that they weren't involved in. You then um, get the people in general, by the way that you report your problem, to react uh, by demanding you do something. This, this can't go on, do something. What are they going to do about it? And at that point, those who covertly created the problem and got that reaction, something must be done, then openly offer the solutions to the problems they have themselves created. Problem, reaction, solution. The Masonic Project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuetta Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world to completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project, and that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new secular or worldly order. This is all about destroying all existing religions. That some people speak about is an order that would have religion on the side. People who believe in God, you consider to be an ignorant person, a backward person. Mr. President, 
we have made sure that humans get to believe that, uh, that loops saving and detention did not really exist. We know Roger that's interesting because a recent research study we put by you indicated that in a national survey, I believe it's over 75% of people mm -hmm. do not really believe in a real tangible devil. Mm -hmm. But there is one. Yeah. From the shadows, they have engineered every major war, revolution, and recession. They control everything you read, everything you hear, and everything you see. They have managed to indoctrinate an entire populace to their way of thinking, and have infiltrated key positions in places of authority. And it is from the shadows that they have created a new political order, a new economic order, and more sinister, a new religious order. So they have a plan to give us a new age, world, global, occultic religion. voice from over his left shoulder. For one hour at precisely the same time over the next three days, Crowley said that the voice dictated to him the book of the law. has for good reason also been called the other Loch Ness Monster. Crowley, who in his book Magic had admitted to sacrificing hundreds of children to Satan, was run out of Italy and called by the press of his day, the wickedest man on earth. Crowley claimed that a demonic spirit he later identified as Satan himself dictated a book to him in 1904 called the Book of the Law. Under the heading The Law of Thelema, the Book of the Law declares, this book lays down a simple code of conduct. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love's the law, love unto will. There is no law beyond do what thou wilt. 